My father started in 1911 as a farmer and working out with the horses and stuff like that. And then uh, my brother came into the business. We bought and sold cows and we milked cows. And then uh, I came along in 1940. In the early 1970s, we decided that farming wasn't uh, an adventure that we wanted to do anymore. So we got into the waste business. We started with three employees, my father, myself, and my uncle. And we built this business, and then I've had three cousins that have come into the business. And then my wife, Ellen, has joined the business. And now we are into our fourth generation with my son, BJ, and my great nephew, Josh Harvey. And we've grown this business from one truck, three employees, to Oh, about 100 trucks today and about 250 employees. Well, it's the pride, strictly pride of my, my family, my brother's family, and uh, yes, we have arguments or whatever you do, discussions we call them, but um, we all work together very well. We have weekly meetings where we decide what we're going to do with the company, where we're going with it, what are our goals. When we leave that room, we're all in the approval of whatever we decide to do. So it works very well. It's good to have family. My father was a staunch worker and taught us those traits which we pass down onto our children and I hope they pass down to their children that uh, Hard work will do it every time. What they say is there's no free lunch. I was taught hard work. Uh, I was taught um, uh, perseverance, uh, all of those wonderful traits that they taught me, plus the sharing of their knowledge. We are fortunate as a family business to have had the knowledge of the previous generation, one of the members, Jim Harvey, that's still with us today, to, sh to continue to share his knowledge and his wisdom with us on a day-to-day -day basis. We're very fortunate in having that. One of the things that we try to offer our employees as a small family-run business is respect. We respect all of our employees. We show our appreciation and we are appreciative of what they, they bring to the table every day we get the same respect back from our employees as, as we tend to give them. Not only do we do business in the town of Westboro and Hopkinton, we also live in the town of Westboro and Hopkinton. And we feel it is an obligation to give back to the community in ways that we can give back. We do a lot with the uh, food bank. Abby's house is one of the ones we collect money for. Toys for Tots, we were very active in giving donations to the Boy Scouts. I was awarded the uh, Good Scout Award um, about two or three years ago. Start in and do it, that's all I can tell you. This, this all didn't fall from the sky, it was something that we built up from one building to the next building and uh, one customer to two customers. And, now we're up around 5,000 customers, and uh, that's, that's what you got to do. you got to work, and you got to love it. If you don't love it, don't start it, because that's the, um, the main ingredient, is taking care of your business by love. <laughs>